Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Let's see what's new at Islands of Adventure today. We better hurry, the weather, she's not looking so good. Well, I said welcome back, but if it's your first time here and you like theme park videos, well, you're in luck because that's what we do and that's all we do. So click that subscribe button and that bell notification button so you'll know when another theme park video is ready for you to view. That's right guys, just theme park videos, maybe a cruise video every now and then. Well, looky here, we have our first update, our first set of construction walls here at IOA. This appears to be where the bathrooms are by Confisco's. Nothing major happening here. Maybe, just maybe some bathroom renovations perhaps. And take a look at the other side of the wall. This side of the wall is all themed to Seuss Landing because that's where you're heading into this area of the park. But a lot of the, you know, thing one and thing two, cat in a hat. This wall all decorated for Seuss. That's a lot of construction walls. Maybe a little more than just bathroom renovations here. Well, look at this. We have an action shot of the Velasa Coaster construction. Looks like they're moving these big uh, pylon things, maybe to support the shore of the water line. I tell you what, let's go behind Mythos and take a closer look at this. Not such a good view from Seuss Landing. Well, I got excited for just a minute as I thought this was going vertical, but I figured out what they're doing. So what they're doing, hopefully you can see what's laying on the ground over there. There's like these pylons or like these steel beams laying on the ground. Uh, what they're doing, they're picking them up and moving them over here. And then you see that blue thing? They're feeding it into the blue thing, which is drilling it or pounding it into the ground, uh, creating some type of barrier with the water, like the shoreline and the water. Yeah, when I first got here, I saw one of those steel beams like all vertical. I got real excited because I am waiting for this thing to go vertical so I can show you guys, but they're just building this barrier. Oh, over here on the shore, there's another one of these blue things and we can see them driving it into the, what they've done previously, they drove these into the ground by the shoreline and the water. Maybe like to help as far as like a foundation for the coaster, they can't have the water like eroding away like the actual land. That's my guess, I'm no construction guy. Like I said, I'm no construction guy, but that seems like some pretty good logic, right? You don't want that roller coaster sitting on land that can be eroded away by water. Let's go over to behind the three broomsticks and see what we can see from that vantage point. Well, look what they have done here behind the three broomsticks. They have added walls, added construction walls to stop us from peeking over into the new Jurassic Park roller coaster area. I only wonder what took them so long to figure that out. And while we're in Hogsmeade, a quick check on Hagrid's, which is a 180 minute wait right now. And look at all the strollers and EVCs. What is this, Epcot? So I did learn this did not open at 9 this morning, but I think I know why. There was a heavy rainstorm prior to opening, so I bet that delayed the opening of Hagrid's where it could not open with the park. So there's a clue for you. If you know it's raining before the park opens, it may not open on time. And actually, that little bit of information is helpful to me as I will be doing a ride challenge. How many times can I ride this in one day? I need to make sure it's a couple sunny days in a row before I do that. So for today, all we can do is take a little peek from this little viewing area. The only viewing area unless you're in the queue. feeling better my health is better my voice is a lot better so I will be doing that ride challenge I would say within a week not more than two now I'm not gonna lie I'm a little afraid of that ride challenge I'm gonna need that ride to open on time and I need you to click that notification button so you don't miss that video it's gonna be something and now we head into Jurassic Park, which quite honestly is one of the main reasons why I wanted to come today I need a little I got to do a little errand for my daughter so because of the tours that I offer, I just recently got the annual photo pass. So, and I actually offer that to my guests who take tours with me. I'm gonna hop in one of these photo spots right here for Jurassic Park.
Fun fact that I learned from my friend John, all the vehicles they have here in Jurassic Park were in the movies. Over here by Burger Digs, they have extended out these walls as well. I want to go on the river adventure. Let's see what the wait time is. Hopefully not longer than 30 minutes. And we can see the rain clouds building over there. Oh my goodness, I need to hurry. Holy moly, it's a 65 minute wait, but they just closed it. I knew because of the weather they'd be closing this one. I was talking to the attendant. They did not close it because of weather. They closed it because someone jumped off the ride. So they were on the ride and they jumped out of the raft. So they were on the ride and they jumped out of the raft. I, I don't understand people. And that's a shame because there was an update I wanted to share with you guys. Um, they have actually removed the doors from the ride. You know the big doors that says welcome to Jurassic Park and you're going through on the, uh, the little river raft boat. Um, they've taken those down for some reason. Uh, maybe just part of their refurb. I think their general refurb is about to happen. So maybe just ahead of that, they took down the doors. But that's okay. One of the main reasons I came today, I need to go into the Outfitters store here. My daughter Caitlin is a redhead and she wants to dress up as the redhead from the Jurassic World movies. So to complete her outfit, I need to kind of find her a, a little dinosaur, maybe a little baby blue. So here is my first option. This is a baby blue for $17. I just wonder if this one is too small. I'll have to take a picture of this and send it to her. And here is the second option. It's actually, I guess this one is T-Rex. It's a lot bigger. I, like I said, I'll take a picture of this one as well and send it to her. Just whatever is gonna make, uh, complete her outfit for her is the one I need to get. And I have received word back from Caitlin. It's gonna be the little baby blue. But you know what, to really complete the outfit, her boyfriend really needs to get one of these dino masks. $22, you got blue, another raptor, a couple of varieties of dinos to choose from. This is what her boyfriend needs. Man, here's another style he could go with. These are a little more, these are like $32. He can put that on his head and he can be the dino for her. Well, the only thing left to do is submit the receipt to my daughter for reimbursement. <laughs> How quick is she gonna reimburse me? Ah, when's never. I have to show this splash down every time I'm here. So I do want to mention the lines have been longer, longer wait times here in October, especially in the afternoons, and I just figured it out. It's fall break for some schools up north. We don't get a fall break here in Florida. Yeah, I've been walking around dismayed until I met some fans from Tennessee, and they told me they were on fall break. I'm like, oh yes, I totally forgot about that. Fall break is a thing up north. So you guys do me a favor, since we're not familiar with fall break, if you have a fall break, let me know in the comments below like when that time frame is. I don't know if, like, if it varies by state or what, uh, but just in the comments, let me know when yours is. If we look over the Hulk here, we can see the dark clouds are building. They haven't got over here to Universal yet, but it's a good thing we're almost done with our lap around the park. Oh heck, since I'm here, one more cool shot of the Hulk. And now, in slow motion. I've shown this before, but it is fairly new. Well guys, Thanks for hanging out with me, checking on a few little updates around the park. I got real excited when I saw that like vertical beam in the Jurassic Park roller coaster area. Turned out to be nothing though. Just built a little berm around the, the water line there. Um, but thanks for hanging out with me. Thanks for clicking that subscribe button and that bell notification button. I really appreciate that. And with all that being said, don't miss the magic, don't miss the fun. Thanks for watching Rick's Flicks and now, it's time to relax. These videos are brought to you in part by our Patreon producers. I would like to welcome our newest patrons, Hank Spaulding, Matt Weaver, and Brandon Anders.